I'm gonna be showing you two ways to remove duplicates from an array in JavaScript. Now, the first technique involves using the set data structure, and the second technique involves using the array filter method, right? So right here, I've got a list of numbers, and as you can see, both 50 and 42 are duplicates in this array. We, of course, only want to see 50, 67, 42 and then 96 coming back. Of course, that right there is gonna be without the duplicates. So let's make a new constant here called numbers without duplicates. And from here, we're gonna have a look at the first technique using the set. Now, the set data structure in JavaScript is very convenient for this purpose because it does not allow duplicate values by default. If you were to make an array, sorry, make a set from an array, it's gonna, clear those duplicates out for us automatically. So we simply need to make a set and then convert it back into an array. So we can use the square brackets here, then use the three dots for the spread operator, and then simply say a new instance of a set and pass in here the numbers. So now, of course, we're gonna make that set. It's gonna clear those duplicates by default automatically for us and then using the three dots and this array syntax here, we're going to essentially create a new array from that set clearing us of the duplicate. So we can now say console.log the numbers without duplicates. I'll save this and run the script here. As we can see, we get our desired result 50, 67, 42 and 96. So that is your first technique for clearing out those duplicates. The second technique is going to take advantage of the array filter method. The way this one works is we're going to uh, run this function for every single item uh, inside the array. And if the index of that item is the current index, then we are good to go. Let me explain this a little bit further. So let's change this code here to instead be numbers.filter. And this filter method is gonna run a function across every single item in the array. And this function looks something like this. We're going to accept the current number and the index of the current number. Let's expand this down just like this. Then we're gonna say return uh, numbers.index of n is equal to i. Okay, so what's happening here is we're uh, essentially taking advantage of that index of method as well as the fact that it checks for the first index of that number. So let me just quickly run this code and we get the same result. We have no more duplicates, right? But to explain this further, basically, this function uh, inside these brackets here, it's gonna run for the first item uh, number 50. It's gonna say, okay, cool, get me the index of the number 50 in the array. In this case here, it's gonna be equal to zero because of course the index of 50 is zero as we can see right here. So it's gonna say, okay, is zero equal to i? At the moment, because we're, at, because we're on the first number, i is going to equal zero, therefore this condition is gonna pass, and because we're returning true from the filter function, it's gonna keep that number in our uh, eventual array. It's gonna do the same thing for 67, 42. When it reaches 50 again, it's gonna say, okay, cool, let me get the index of 50. In this case here, because the index of checks the first item, the first occurrence of that number, you're gonna get zero back once again. So in that case, your n's gonna be 50, your index is gonna be three, zero, one, two, three. Three does not equal zero, therefore it gets excluded, this returns false. So that's how that second technique works. And that is how to remove duplicates from your arrays in JavaScript. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.